If you're wanting to build community in your online class and allow the students a location to have kind of a lounge, a hangout area, then you might want to consider creating a discussion lounge for your students in your LMS. Now I do use Canvas, so that's what I'm going to show you an example on, but you can really do this in any other LMS online platform. It'll just be a little bit different depending on the one that you're using. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa. I am a professor, an online educator. I'm also a musical theater coach and performer. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead, click the button down below so you don't miss any more videos in the future. I've got new videos coming out every single week. I want to show you an idea of creating a lounge in your LMS for your students. This has really been helpful for me. Now some classes it's been really great and some classes nobody has used it and some classes it's like a sprinkle here and there. Whatever it is, I feel like in an online class offering them options really is going to give them more flexibility and a way to express themselves and communicate and collaborate in a class that is really less hands-on for you. Now this really does depend upon the age you're teaching. If you're teaching younger, like maybe, you know, K through through junior high, I, it might be something that you want to consider that you regulate a little bit more, but honestly, you want to give them a place to hang out, especially for online and remote classes. And this is a great way to get started and try it out to see if it might work for you and your students. So here in this Canvas course I'm showing you right now, all I did was I go into discussions and I created a discussion post and I actually pinned it at the top. So every time they go to the discussions, it's always in the top section and they can always find it really quickly. Now you'll see this class is a couple years old, but I did have four people that commented on it and I've had other classes that they do really, really well and enjoy it and some classes that they don't. So you can see in this one, I have a space for you to ask questions, get answers from your peers, I will answer questions, but students are encouraged to answer as well. Feel free to engage. And I put a little image in here as well. And then down below, you'll see some students have responded to this one, but it gives them a place, a discussion board that is not graded, that they can ask questions and have an open conversation. Here's another example of a class I did in a musical theater history class that actually wasn't even online. And I created this as a way for them to kind of start talking to each other outside of class and I did this one who loves musicals and um, I just said what's your favorite musical and why put it down in the comments below and then people just started writing different comments of what's their favorite musical why it is other people responded and this one actually did really really well but it really just depends on the way that you're going to treat it I like to do a lounge so they can just you know hey when's this due date and another student can answer and I can just moderate it but you could also do a way for them to start a thread on their own. You can do that in Canvas, other LMSs, you'll just have to double check it, but you could start ungraded discussion areas for them that, that really allows them a space to create and to talk and to answer and to ask questions that really is, is you're regulating it, but they can see that it's student-led. It's just a great support system for them, no matter how old you are. And I have students in this class that, you know, are adults of all ages. So the way that you do this is go to your discussions tab on the left side in Canvas, and then go to the top right hand corner where the blue button is, click add discussion. We're gonna add a discussion there. And I do have a tutorial for a detailed tutorial of discussions, how to create them. I'll link it down in the description box below if you wanna check that out, that's more detailed. And then in here you can just type, you know, student lounge, or you can ask them a question, or what's your favorite musical, or um, you know, what's your favorite TED talk that's not graded. And then you'd put instructions in here in the box, um, any instructions that you have for them, whether it's small or large. Remember, keep your text really, really simple, bullet points, less paragraphs, more images. I would throw an image in here as well. You can go in here and say embed image, and then you can choose an image that you already have, or you can even go to a free image and look, let's just say, so you can put your instructions in here, put your image in here, make it fun for them, whatever that might be. You can put a GIF or something else in here. You could link, um, turn, embed a link in here or whatnot, or a YouTube video as an example if you want. And then you would click, of course, post to all sections, all people in that section. I would also click allow threaded replies, yes. I would not tick users must post before seeing replies. Don't tick that, let them see it so it's open for them. And then I would not tick graded. I would also tick allow liking. 
and let them let them do that. And if you want to add it to their to-do list, you could do that as well. So it gets them a way to see that, that it's on their to-do list and I would not put a due date on it, okay? And then available from and available to, I would leave this open, especially for a lounge area, the entire semester, course, uh, quarter, uh, whatever your class, the length of it, keep it open the entire time. And then when you're done, just go to the bottom, you can click save and make sure it looks good, or you just click save and publish, and you'll be able to immediately see it into your discussions and here it is and then they can click reply down at the bottom after you do it also ask them at the end of the semester survey did you like it was it helpful was it not helpful how can i update it to make it useful for you the best thing i ever learned teaching online is to ask for student response anonymous student surveys and you can do that in canvas as well i hope this gave you a few ideas to try out in your next online course if you have any questions don't forget to link them down in the comments below i'll be happy to help them as answer them as best as i can don't forget to like this video if it was helpful for you click the subscribe button turn on the bell notification and i will see you in the next video happy teaching everyone bye